Caddis Maximus here, this time with an O'Reilly's Power Torque mi Mini Stubby 3 8 inch drive ratchet with a 3 8 inch drive square on the end, and that's actually pretty handy. I like what they've done with that. This does come with a little plastic cap, you know, to make it a little bit or more ergonomic. I always like that sound. But I'll be tossing that cap. But this thing is actually pretty neat for a tiny little ratchet. This thing's only four inches long overall. Three and a half from the center of the anvil to the end of this. It's a little bit shorter than four inches overall. Super tiny stubby ratchet. These tools were GM power torque. This is how they used to be labeled. And then they just dropped the General Motors thing. But all these tools still have, of course, the GM part number. I wanted to clear that up with a couple other uh, people out there. Anyway, it is truly compact. I have a classic 36 tooth Duralast. I have the Titan uh, clutch ratchet, as well as the Icon, the Harbor Freight Icon straight ratchet. This one's using the, the good ratchet mechanism, but it's actually pretty big. Although this is certainly a stubby ratchet, it would be huge compared to this GM Power Torque. It's just amazing. The head on this is pretty compact, especially right here where you get a lot of extra clearance. Obviously way shorter. Surprisingly enough, the head is a little bit taller than the clutch ratchet, so the cl but it is pretty narrow, even slightly narrower than, of course, once again, even a little bit shorter. And the one I really like was this Duralast, because when I want a stubby, I really want it super short. This Duralast is excellent. Actually, I saw one of these on eBay. This is the hilarity. This, this person wants $23, about the same as what it retailed for. And, I've never seen a ratchet that worn. Look at the switch. It's actually like halfway ground through. Anyway, I digress. So this is even smaller than the super short handle uh, Duralast, just by a very small amount. Me, actually, it's probably exactly the same, but truly evidencing how small this 3 8 ratchet is. It has a uh, recessed quick release, so you don't accidentally hit that. And I actually like the, how they've done the uh, reverse switch here. It isn't the easiest to switch, but it is pretty good. It feels it's like a 72 tooth at least, really low backlash. I did have to put a little oil in this one, but the you know the manufacturing quality we can see, really nice centering on the stamping for the detent, nice centering right there. So overall pretty good. But this reverse lever is indeed low profile, and when you're just rub you know have your hands on it and you're in awkward situations, I think that's actually pretty wise engineering. So that's less likely that you are to accidentally hit. Uh, this reverse lever when you're using it. So I like that it has a square on the end because it gives you uh, several different options. Say, you know, you are working with 12 and 10 millimeter fasteners. Much easier just to keep the spare socket right there at the end of the handle. And of course, makes the end of the handle a little bit more comfortable when you need to swap. Super easy. You can just swap the sockets and you're ready to go all, just all in one ratchet. Or it may be a different situation where you have may have a you know, a standard link socket, and then something like this where you have a uh, stubby socket. So I did like that. It's actually kind of handy being able to do that, as well as the ability just to be able to put a socket on the end of that and be able to use it just as like a hand driver. And then I was realizing, uh, although uh, the way this has a square on it, I like that it is a square because it allows a couple of things that you can't do with ratchets that I've seen some ratchets which have a, you know, female receiving square, but not a driving square and this actually has a few other advantages one is of course you can just put an extension on it and make it like a normal length ratchet it gives you a little bit of extra force and this is what I mean by playing with fires because obviously you can put any you know hugely long uh, extensions on here and you're either gonna break the ratchet head or you're gonna actually split the extension uh, but certainly can be handy where you break a bolt uh, in a real tight space and then just pop this off and then use the stubby ratchet to actually run it out. Definitely pretty cool. Uh, another thing I was thinking is maybe you really like large ergonomic grip handle ratchets and even the ergo grip ones aren't big enough for you. Well, I've got like a big half inch drive oil sender socket. This is a huge socket with a little adapter here. And voila, now I have the ultimate large diameter comfort grip ratchet. This is a little bit ridiculous, but I could certainly see people using something like this, especially if they have any problems with, say, grip strength, maybe have injuries, uh, disability or something. Being able to put a handle, you know, this large on a ratchet could actually make it much more usable for somebody. So as a gimmick as it looks, 
it actually could be something. And so I really like the idea of being able to do that. And then I realized that there's even another advantage to this. If you have certain types of universal joints, say this power belt, really have a steep angle. So if we do something here where we, excuse me, I got this on backwards. We can take this, and I did want to say that the detent on the end of the handle is actually pretty strong. It's like snap-on strong. Um, you can put something like this, and it's called it kind of like a, uh, an upside-down dog, or excuse me, an, <laughs> uh, uh, an upside-down dog leg here, excuse me, um, where you could get into and break a faster, but maybe you have a real hard time, like 90s Nissan uh, engine base, particularly power steering belt tension adjusting, like on, you know, 96 to 2000 Pathfinders is just about impossible. It's one of the hardest things to reach and it's a darn tensioning bolt, which you got to ratchet quite a bit. Um, this could be real handy because once you break the bolt, you can actually go around and offset and then actually use an extension like this. You don't even have to be uh, totally in line. You can be like that. And what it allow you to do is be an offset ratchet and allow you to operate it quickly once you have a fastener loose, if it's really hard and you just can barely get your hand in there and you're just wiggling it or just ratching a little bit, perhaps using a long extension in a, on a universal joint will allow you to use it such as a push or a pump ratchet. And it's another advantage. It's just giving, giving you more options and uh, why I thought this was so neat. So somebody had commented probably a couple months ago about what I thought about this particular stubby ratchet. And uh, actually, I'm glad I picked it up because it really is pretty handy. And it is probably the smallest 3.8 stubby ratchet I've found yet. Bar none. This thing is super tiny. And I think it's really pretty cool. And uh, just wanted to bring my opinion <laughs> about it. Talk to you, show you people about it. And uh, just think and show you how cool I think it is. Obviously, it's not going to be the strongest of ratchets, but... My goodness, I think I'm going to end up using, this is going to be my go-to versus all the other stubbies. Uh, this thing really is pretty neat. Plus, it's my only quick-release stubby, but I uh, uh, was actually kind of surprised. I've seen this on the shelf, but never really thought too much about it. But now I picked one up, I actually kind of wish they had half-inch and quarter-inch drive versions. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing, and especially all the comments that you've been leaving. I do encourage you to comment. I also encourage you to subscribe to the Caddis Maximus channel if you haven't done so. Anyway, until next time, Caddis Maximus out.